I'm Joanne Kagwanda. I'm the coordinator of the Africa Land Policy Center. And so uh, the center is the one that is uh, the secretariat for the uh, Conference on Land Policy in Africa. This is our third edition. Uh, we've had uh, two conferences before this, one in 2014 and the other one in 2017. This year, we are really pleased to be uh, able to talk about the issue of corruption in the land sector. And the reason why we have this focus is that in 2018, our member states under the Africa Union umbrella discussed uh, the issue of winning corruption in a broader sense for Africa's transformation. And as we know, uh, the land sector is one of the most corrupt uh, sectors of Africa's economies. We cannot shy away uh, from, hand, or from examining the cost of corruption in, um, in terms of um, our being able to function and to further our goals uh, for growing our economies, uh, but also uh, ensuring that there is equity and um, that communities are not disadvantaged. So we are uh, pleased to be uh, hosting this conference um, currently in Abidjan and welcome everybody to really uh, enjoy the conference, but also focus on the key issues. Some of the more um, pressing issues in terms of dealing with the issue of corruption, obviously, is looking at the issue, I would say, of technology, because we believe that uh, by digitizing, for instance, all the land records and making that information available, through some of the laws that our member states have passed in terms of access to information, we would be able to root out a lot of the corruption. So the willingness to engage on the issue of digitization, but also looking at uh, land information systems and, and how these uh, we can move from paper to digital form and make it more accessible is, I think, uh, an issue. Uh, more, we need to look at the political will to do so but also given that Africa is actually leading uh, the world in some ways in terms of uh, uh, mobile phones and, and what kinds of transactions and, and functions we can use on that technology, I think is one of the more, um, it's an opportunity that I think we need to explore in the land sector. Um, for the conference, therefore, this platform uh, brings together stakeholders across um, the land uh, sector, whether we are talking about our governments and including the parliament, not just the executive, but also uh, the legal side. And we are looking at conversations also with our traditional authorities who hold 70% uh, plus of the land. Uh, we are also looking at conversations uh, with our civil society, but most importantly, it's a platform for academia and research to bring the findings and promising practices that uh, they, they, they have um, and to look at lessons from the rest of the world as well in terms of looking at promoting dialogue, uh, promoting best practices on how we can handle, for instance, the issue of corruption, um, reforming our land in, in information, our land administration systems to advance securing of land rights. And so we are looking at this platform uh, with some of the key outcomes, uh, including a call for action by each one of the stakeholder groups, uh, whether it's civil society, it's research, it's government, it's traditional authorities, it's our private sector, looking at what we are going to be doing in the next coming two years before the next conference and uh, in the way of trying to root out corruption in the sector as well. So in terms of advancing dialogue, this is a premier uh, platform. We don't have another such uh, conference on the continent. So this is a really important platform. We have over 500 participants being expected. We had almost a thousand registrants, but obviously we are looking at maybe about 500 participants. Um, in terms of um, the prospects for finding sustainable ways for transforming Africa, I always like to think of a sector um, where most of our people are in terms of livelihoods, and that is agriculture, for instance. And some of the work that we've been doing at the Africa Land Policy Center is looking at how we can mainstream the issue of land policy and look at how it impacts, um, first of all, what is the cost of not securing land rights? Uh, what is the cost of not clarifying our land use systems? on how we can advance investments in agriculture, investments in a way that 
uh, they incorporate our communities and other marginalized uh, segments of society, including women, the youth, for instance, and pastoralists and, and, and others. And so when we look at the intersection with corruption, then we are looking at how we can advance um, securing of land rights and addressing some of these key issues in agriculture in a manner that would help us to be able to identify where the land is, who claims the land, and how we can engage uh, with investors and others um, in terms of making sure that uh, the communities are at the center of it. So we are really excited. Uh, we have enough uh, guidelines. We have, um, I believe, the political will to move forward. And this conference will provide a platform where we can dialogue and where we can be able to look at some of the best practices from across Africa and across the world. So I'm really excited and I thank you for the opportunity to, to just uh, have this discussion. Thank you.